Oakland, California, The Tonight Show, starring Tony King. Tonight's guests are Ian Saxton and Blaze Hunt. And now, here's Tony. Hey, everybody. So, did you hear about this new invention by Google called the Google Glass? It's a set of frames without lenses that's like a hands-free computer you can wear on your head. Now, it seems all science fiction-y and cool, but is it really just a spy tool, maybe? Some restaurants are actually even banning the device due to privacy concerns for their customers. I'd really like to see how this thing works. It may just be our future. Tony? We actually got hold of one of these gadgets, and we have some surprise footage from earlier this week. <laughs> wow, Klaus. Let's see this. How exciting. Uh, run the tape, please. Klaus, you're incorrigible. That donut was delicious and only had one prior bite, by the way. But see, this is just the kind of thing that makes us all too suspicious of each other. One fellow in Oklahoma got so scared of his neighbor's lunch, he reported it to the police. Yeah, an Oklahoma City man found a thermos with a piece of foil in it uh, sitting in his yard. He decided it was probably related to terrorism and took it to his neighborhood police station for bomb testing. Well, the testing concluded that it was, in fact, a bomb. Ask burrito! Yeah, it was a burrito. And although the burrito did show trace amounts of pico de gallo, officers spiced it up by pepper spraying it before returning it to the unhelpful citizen. Folks, Big Tone is serving up one hell of a big spicy burrito of a show tonight with our guests Ian Saxton and Blaze Hahn. Stay tuned! Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to The Tonight Show, Mr. Ian Saxton. Ah, Ian, how are you? Oh, what is this? Oh, I'm afraid I brought uh, enough things to fill two hands, so... Oh my uh, gosh. Well, I can't shake it right now. You can take one, and I can take the other. Well, I suppose I could give you one, but I need both. See, water is life. Let me and help watermelons you. are delicious. Let me help you with the watermelon for well, just a moment. Can, actually, can we just do a cheers first? I mean, do, I know let's, that you wanted to do see. the ritual that you were going to do, but I'm afraid I have another plan. Grab your drink, this because I wanted to, this guy on the show. to cheers. Yes. Yes. I know it's a little hard for you to see. Your eyes are a bit higher than me. Yeah. Nobody's higher than you, Ian. Agua es vida. And we should be encouraging each other to drink it, so it's not bad luck to cheers with water. That's all I'm saying. Water is delicious. All right, well, now that we're done with that, Tony, I'd like to shake your hand. Thanks for having me on the Tonight Show. You're more than welcome, Ian. Please have a seat. Oh, thanks. I didn't have a really good plan for this, so I'm going to go with my standard default, which is throw things in the air and catch them. Excellent. Hey! Wow. I do my own sound effects, too. I know it's really bad taste. It's tacky. No, it's corny. It's not tacky at all. But, uh, you know, I think... My audience actually kind of appreciates it, and they're a, they're a narrow little niche, but uh, perhaps growing. Big Toe knows all about the narrow niche and how to work that baby. You know what I'm saying, Ian? Ba-doom! Yeah, work in the narrow niche. So, Ian, I've been noticing you do a fair amount of political activism. Um, what initially inspired you to get into this line of activity? Well, it was this thing that I noticed when I was a child and then later when I was an adult which is that the world is really corrupt and it's really discriminatory and it's really unequal and that is very unethical. Uh, uh, we're all united in, in a global fight against you know, full spectrum dominance that includes uh, basically agricultural and economic that's right. and social racial warfare and we've been seeing it for centuries. We see it right now very strongly and so I feel just such a strong responsibility as an American citizen, as, as a you know, planet Earth citizen, uh, to basically stand up for the human rights treaties 
and all of the laws that we've passed, whether constitutional or Bill of Rights or any of the legislation since then, it all and everything that anyone who is really thinking and, and feeling at the same time and, and cares about the public good, they've all said, you know, we've got major problems and we're going to need, you know, major solutions. So tell me, Ian, what are some projects that you're working on currently or that you've done lately or things that are coming up? I grew up in California. It's my third UC, University of California degree, UC Santa Cruz, uh, class 2004 with an extra year. UC San Diego to your master's program. And now I'm basically a third year in going into my fourth year PhD student who's been doing music composition and technology throughout my career. Although interspersed in there has definitely been a lot of thinking about, about politics mm -hmm. and about economics and about justice of all sorts and really feeling the need and the calling to do more work in that area. I mean, I'm basically thinking about changing to interdisciplinary studies at UC Berkeley because I want to engage with all the different people there who care about, you know, saving the world, about having, you know, a better world for the public, the university system, the public university. That's the, their main mission is to create human beings which are empowered to constantly question themselves and question their world. So that's what CAL stands for. That is their mission. That's what they were created to do. That's what they said they do. That's what they, they say they are doing. And you know these deals like the BP thing just stink to high heaven. It's corrupt to the core, totally off mission, completely illegal. And we're you know, basically six years in to a $10 million, uh, 10 year, $500 million deal where BP buys the Energy Biosciences Institute buys the sustainable business and technology integrated research unit and they get the top 35 percent of patents for instance and it's insane because they're just going to cherry pick the things they want and monopolize them and, and they could kill them off if they want maybe we should also keep getting out in the streets and expressing you know our voices and do things like reenact oil spills in the sprout plaza fountain like we did on 420 2012. let's keep doing that and we're gonna do more political theater, we're gonna do more flash mobs, we're gonna do more um, confrontation with verbal heckling at events with top administrators who are corrupt because that's a fantastic forum. They don't provide any other ones. And I'm sorry, you can't make a town hall meeting and then not let students speak directly. They need to open up full freedom of speech and full access to information and really encourage full collaboration of, of the faculty and students in order to have Cal take a really good deep look at itself because before doing that they shouldn't be recommending anything else to the world or selling anything else to the world we need to have a look at ourselves UC Berkeley really at the core the issue that we have to face as activists who want to solve big problems who essentially the goal is save the world I don't think there's another better coalition flag than that and we need to to band together you know, for open information, for open access, and for open intelligence, and for open government. And even for things like open software, open multimedia software, open database software, we need to be able to liberate our information and to be able to use it to our advantage. It's the opposite. They do private surveillance for bad. One of the main ways that they can use that, and other governments around the world are doing it too, and you know, it's very possible in a lot of situations is that that surveillance information is basically used against peaceful activists and against academics in order to sa sabotage their work, sabotage their lives, and to basically intervene in a story of, of real freedom of speech and thinking, exploration, and then sharing. That's the process they're afraid of. They don't want people to become empowered and enlightened in the, in the political and, and social realms. Ian. Besides being an activist, you're also a musician. Tell us a little bit about uh, that aspect of your life. So I like to play drums and I've been doing it for about 18 years now. Mostly playing rock and jazz and Latin and hip hop and funk and, you know, prog rock. We and do. I play in a band right now called Cash Pony. And we've been going wow. strong since, you know, Big basically Tone loves 2004. Cash and he loves in UC ponies. Santa Cruz, that was my slug days. And uh, pleased to still be playing with Stephen Wright on bass, Charles Lloyd on guitar, Owen Kelly on the second guitar, and we definitely rock hard. And we are mathy without being too nerdy, I'd say. So 
come on out, learn our tunes, and dance your pants off. Right. Ian, I have a question for you. One more question. A question? What yeah. is it? It's very important to Big Tone. Oh, a big one. Ian, are you a dog person or are you a cat person? Uh, I would say that I am a dat person. I am a, <laughs> a cag person. I'm confused. Well, obviously you don't do a lot of word mixing. No, I do a lot of meow mixing, but I don't do a lot of word mixing. Are you a dog person or are you a cat person? But meow cannot choose. Right? We'll be right back, folks. Don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, please welcome to the Tonight Show, Blaze Han. Hey. Hey, how's uh, it going? Tone, it's so good to welcome see to you. The show. Hey, Ian, Hello, how are Blaze you? Hunt. Good to see you, dude. Doing well, thanks. Awesome. Hey, have a seat. Thank you. Oh, nice. Now, Blaze Hunt, you are a hip hop artist. Yeah. Tell us, is there a uh, website or somewhere online yes. we can check out if some you, of your work? If you Google blaze hun music you'll find a whole bunch of my uh social media sites but if you go to www.blazehunmusic.com you go to my direct site there's other things there you can see my youtube page you can go to my facebook page you can go to my twitter page i have other links there so you can see some of my things my bios on there so it's a good site so www.blazehunmusic.com i'm gonna check it out you gonna check it I, I'm already checking it Are you out. checking it out right I've now? got people on it. All right. Okay. That's how I got here, right? You check it out, too. <laughs> so, tell me, do you enjoy uh, performing for an audience? And uh, would you say that your music is better communicated live or on your recordings? Uh, I love performing live. I think the best aspect that I have as an artist is my live performance. I'm still learning how to transaction into the, the studio delivery because my studio delivery is still improving, uh, but my live performance, I started off freestyling, so I'm always comfortable in front of a crowd or a band or even two or three people. Like That's how I started off, so that's more of my comfort zone, so I'm still learning studio etiquette, but yeah. This is a freestyle. <laughs> so I'm sitting on the couch, I'm in Big Tone's house, and I really hope and pray that he doesn't kick me out. Yeah, I had a what? little wine, so what? I'm feeling kind of fine. What? But if he what? asks me to leave before I bust a rhyme, it's not a crime. What? If I fit, you know, just a little bit. Oh and God. just to be precise, I have to say I'm more than nice. What? But to end it, I would say that damn any day, I would deliver however, whatever, always. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that was great. You need your cards because I want you to ask very nice. appropriate no, questions. That's okay. You. Big Tone has... I don't want inappropriate. We need to stick to the script. Big don't Tone has me, the cards in his heart. Don't ask me anything This thing, what is this? This, we know We're not we talking about that. the porno. We're not no, talking about that. No, this one is very important. All right. This one, uh, you know, we don't need this. We could go <laughs> out of there. Hey, listen. That was really a great freestyle. Uh, but I understand that you're going to play one of your, yes. uh, one of your hits for us tonight. Uh, you want to tell us a little bit about that song? Pretty Things, Pretty Things. Uh, it was a song inspired by more than one woman, but I, I centralized her and made her one person. And it's all, you know, actual accounts of this woman who's just, uh, she's just so overwhelmed by life that she resorts to, to drugs and, and alcohol and she can't cope. But basically, it's just this tortured soul. We're all tortured souls. We're all being musicians. Hey, don't you don't have to tell Big Tone about being tortured. I mean, I, right. I, these things live themselves out through bowls of ice cream for Big Tone. You know, in his dark periods. But right, ice cream or, he or tries pills to be or vegan, good in though. moderation. Or drugs, right. So. Oh, excellent in moderation. <laughs> but but perhaps not in maximization. Who can stop with just one scoop? <laughs> right. That's the story behind that. And it's, it's a... A very, you uh, know, it's me telling the story, and I hope that people can understand the story from beginning to end, and maybe they could relate to it. If not personally, maybe they, they know someone like that. We're gonna find out. But before that, I have a really important question to ask you. Oh. Blaze, honey, 
dog person or cat person? So I feel like this is gonna come. I'm a dog person. I would love oh. to own one one cat, but I love dog. Ah. Wrong answer. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, I appreciate your honesty. Wait, wait. I you. you okay, you I'm play. waiting. I'm waiting. You play, right? Oh yeah. Are you I gonna do play? Can you join me? I play all kinds of things, but what do you want me to play? Oh, yeah, so Ian can play the drums, I believe. Oh, drums, yeah. I believe Are you sober I, I enough? I don't know. I... We don't know what's in that mug. Are you sober enough this to watch the performance? This is just the pure, like, well, this is Nyan Nyan Nouveau, actually, but we'll talk <laughs> about that later. He looks a little foggy-eyed. <laughs> Folks, I'm looking forward to this musical segment. When we come back, plays on, joined by Ian Saxon on drums. Don't go anywhere. Let me tell you a little story. Let me tell you a little story. About this girl I used to know. This girl I used to know. I'ma tell you a little story. About a girl I used to know. Yeah. She likes to party yeah. better. Yes, yeah, she is the party. That's she right. could make you feel real good all throughout your body. Throughout better your than body. Ollie. I'm trying to figure out how I had Holly. Yeah. Even had the opportunity to even be in her presence. I'm trying to understand. How is she a living legend? Wow. Everybody knows about her, but I can't deny. I kinda slipped up, I fell down, and I can't get, I can't get up. up. I can't even move, damn, I am kinda stuck. It's something yeah. about the way she does the things she does, and I don't understand. And it's not quite love if I had more of a chance to opportunity. But I gotta face the facts, it's really not me. Pills and shit. Feels as if she cannot exist Well, not in this life She just can't get right And she likes to drink And she loves pretty things Yo, she loves pretty things She be on pills and shit Cause she feels as if she cannot exist Well, not in this life She just can't get right And she likes to drink And she loves pretty things Yo, she loves pretty things Hey, I seen the new amount of coke about a week Go, the image still got me Yeah, I am still fresh I don't know where I'm supposed to go What would I do? Or tell me what would you do? Tell me if you wear my shoes I asked her how she feeling She told me oxy She just wants to be taken into ecstasy And every time we go all she wanna do is just dance next to me She don't need anybody there She's just so sexy I, I made mistakes and I I guess it's my punishment for like all of this shit of And this whether shit. I stay or not, she will not even know Cause she be so numb, like down to her toes She be on pills and shit, cause she feels as if she does not exist for not in this life, she just can't get right And she likes to drink, and she loves pretty things Yo, she loves pretty things, she be on pills and shit Cause she feels as if Save us. Lord, save us. Lord, save us.